Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Truck Smooth. Let's get into it about Tell. Um, if you're watching this video, most likely you probably about to go with Tell or looking to go with Tell or something about Tell. So I'm going to give you my experience. And if you're ready to hear it, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, make sure you comment on it. Let me know what you think about the video and um, hit the subscribe button. So let's get into it. Um, where to start with Tell? So let me start off by saying, um, I got a truck brand new. They did that part. They, they do provide brand new trucks. I have a 2022 Freightliner Cascadia. Um, got a truck with 700 miles. Um, what else? Yeah, they made sure everything was like pretty cool on the beginning of it. Getting the truck, getting the truck delivered to me, uh, my down payment, everything was cool. Everything went fine. Um, since I got the truck, uh, I want to say everything ran smooth and up to about 5,000 miles. 5,000 5, miles was my first breakdown. Yeah, in the brand of truck, my first breakdown. Um, total, I've been broke down five times since I got the truck. So, I'm going to just give you my experience on what tell is doing about it and just know i have a lot of patience a whole lot of patience my girl is dying to do a youtube video on tell and i said before i let her do it i'm gonna do it she might end up still doing one um but i'm gonna just give you my experience on what i've been through with tell what they're doing about the situations that I've been through with tell so I can't speak on nobody else but what I've been through and just like I said just know I have a lot of patience when I was being made somewhere in the universe patience that bucket it, it overflowed so imagine being five times broke down uh, sorry about that imagine being broke down five times in a brand new truck a brand new car brand new motorcycle whatever and the company is not really doing anything about it. Like, yeah, it's getting fixed. It's under warranty. But at the same time, you know, any other uh, company or dealership or anything would have been switched me out or accommodated me in some way, fashion, or form. Their way of accommodating me was, oh, we're going to take off uh, two payments, your next two payments. Um, not knowing that those two payments were still being charged to me on top of the two payment I mean on top of the payments after those two payments were taken out if that makes any sense so let me break it down for you so first time I got broke down was in North Carolina um basically all like all the check engine lights that's on the dashboard cut on at the same time my deaf engine light was on um deaf engine light huh my uh, death light was on you know it wasn't flashing anything but it was on so um with that being said i lucky thing i was like maybe three miles away from the uh freight liner dealer over there in north carolina um went to the dealer um my they tried to charge me an arm and a leg and i don't think this is me i don't think if you break down um and it's not like necessarily not your fault dealing with what i've been dealing with over that many amount of times i don't think i should have to pay for a tow i don't think so i think freightliner if it's a recall and it broke down them i think freightliner should pay for that tow because they were trying to charge me a good i think 1200 um to tow from where i was at the shipper because i broke down at the shipper um from the shipper to the dealer so they would try to try me i think 1200 dollars or something like that but anyway i don't think i should pay for that so um i came up with a way and i found out this button over here this override in your shutdown button allows you to you know at least move the truck get off the road i did a video about it you can check it out but it i, I pretty much got myself to the dealership by pushing that button so anyway um that was the first time i broke down I sat there for about a week and some change. Uh, took off straight from there to 
Bowling Green, Kentucky. As soon as I got to Bowling Green, Kentucky, truck messed up on me again. Um, shut down on me on the road. Lucky thing again, I was 21 miles away from the next Freightline dealer. Uh, it's called Velocity. So being, keep in mind that uh, when, you, when these breakdowns, nobody's paying for nothing. You're paying for everything by yourself. So basically, once the, I mean, once the truck get into the shop. So when it's in the shop, anything outside of that, nobody, mind you, I'm gonna own an op, so ain't nobody paying for no food, ain't nobody paying for no lift driver, ain't nobody paying for no uh, hotel, everything is on your own. So the Bowling Green, where I was at, it was a lot of crazy activity in that area. So that being said, if you're a truck driver, you know most of the places that you can go and park your truck or has trucks that way you can park. Sometimes, most of them are ran down hotels or low budget hotels. I don't know why they do truck drivers like that, but with that being said, went to a Ramada over there and um, had a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, going in the area, a lot of drug activity, a lot of lot lizards, I ain't wanna say it, but you know, it's a lot of that going on over there. So me, I went to my room, I was confined to my room. Only time I came out was basically grab something to eat, go right back in the room, you know. Um, had a lot of those knock on my door, followed me to my room. It was just crazy, crazy experience. So anyway, um, mind you, they had to do major mechanic work. This is on a brand new truck, major mechanic work. They had to take, when I looked at the truck, when I went to go get stuff out of my uh, truck, the whole top of the truck, valve cover, everything was off the truck. So they was taking out the dang on rocker arms, it looked like, or I'm a mechanic on my car. So what it looked like to me, it looked like they took out the lifters and all type of stuff they took out so i was like damn it's a brand new truck it shouldn't be you know going through that so i told tell i called tell the next like day later or something like hey man it's you know uh what's going on with this truck like it needs major mechanic work and you know it's a brand new truck like i, I don't you know that's going to go down on a report on the truck like dang if i wanted to sell it later on or when i finished paying for it i wanted to you know sell it to somebody they can see all of this so they were like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, just let them fix it, it's a recall issue, there's nothing wrong, just go ahead and drive the truck. Okay, cool. Mike, this is the second time already. So what, went again, driving. I hear something on the truck, maybe i say I got a week after fixing the truck. Um, I, Yeah, like a week after. Something else, check engine light came back on. So I'm like, dang, what's going on now? So they checked the truck. It was a sensor or something leading to what they just um, changed. Kind of the same issue, but they said it was a sensor. So guess what? Went from sensor to being the same issue. So guess what? I was broke down two weeks again in um, Chicago now. So I'm in Chicago. Lucky thing, I knew someone there. I went, stayed with them for like maybe two, three days and then felt like I was being a burden to them. Um, so I left, I went to get a hotel. So got a hotel, stayed in a hotel for the rest of the time. So major work again. Um, they fixed it. Um, I'm trying to call tell, you know, mind you, they tell calls you every week to, you know, go over your settlement. Um, you know, keep you up on the truck, make sure you're doing the right thing, make sure you're not overspending on fuel or anything like that. They call you every week, but when I'm broke down, they don't call, they don't check on me. Only time they check on me, oh, hey, hey, your truck is finished, your truck is finished, go get the truck for you to drive. So mind you, you're being broke down, have to spend money on whatever you gotta spend money on while you're broke down in the state you're not, nine times 10, you're probably gonna not be in your, your state, so you're gonna have to pay for everything. So, with that being said, you're um, paying for all that. They're telling you, yeah, we're gonna take out one or two payments. So all those payments are backing up. You, you're putting yourself in a hole, pretty much, the whole time you're broke down. So you're putting yourself in that hole by being broke down because of them, their way of doing business. Um, so when you come back to the truck, you're in the hole. Believe it or not, you're in the hole. So those truck payments, they so-called took off from the um, time you was broke down. 
and they be like, they're gonna tell you, oh, we're gonna take off, you know, this amount of payments. But all those payments are going, and they're evenly stacking them on your next payments that's coming up. So say if you broke down this week and next week, and they say, yeah, we're gonna take off these two weeks. When you get back rolling, instead of your truck payment being 680, your truck payment is gonna be almost $900. So they're taking those payments that they so-called took off and putting them on top of your next couple of payments. So you're gonna be still in the hole. You're gonna have to run harder than you usually run to you know, clear that debt out. So with that being said, after this second time I broke down, I was broke down in Chicago for those two weeks. Then went ahead and jumped back on the road. They fixed the truck. I took a load from Chicago to Laredo, Texas. From Laredo, Texas to I got to Montgomery, Alabama. Guess what? Truck started doing some stuff I never even seen it do. It started sounding like an old peep. Hop, 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 hop. It was chopping and everything. So I'm like, what's going on now? So I called them. They're telling me, hey, just wait, see what the problem is. You know, I'm telling them, look, I'm getting frustrated on, you know, the truck breaking down. I, I'm, I'm not understanding why I keep breaking down. Switch me out. I'm asking them so politely. I'm, I mean, I'm not raising my voice. I'm not cussing them out. I'm not um, saying, you know, go somewhere and stick it somewhere. I'm not saying none of that. I'm cooperating with them and being patient. So they're telling me, wait it out. Lucky thing, I was in uh, Montgomery and it was two hours away from uh, Atlanta. I have family in Atlanta. So mind you, the load, I had to, lucky thing, the company who I was pulling for, they uh, had the load um, rescued pretty much. Uh, they had a tow truck come out, get the load, take the load to their, uh, their uh, tow yard. Another driver came, picked it, and took it the, the last two hours. I was, I was able to get paid for, you know, that that from bringing it from Laredo to there. So I, that was a good thing. So um, I caught a Greyhound, because where I was at, it, I don't think it was no uh, airport. So I caught a Greyhound, a couple of dollars, went over to my family's house or whatever, sat there with them. Um, they called me like a week and some change later. Um, Pay the truck ready. So I'm like, hey, look, I really know personally don't want to get back in the truck and drive it because I've got a feeling it's going to break down again. So basically, Tell gave me the runaround on getting a new truck from, I asked for a new truck. They have a thing where if, you know, a truck is something that's wrong with it, you know, it's called a mechanical exchange or something like that. Basically, if it's something mechanical, they can swap you out in the truck. I think I'm far past that, like far, far past that. Every time it, the truck got touched, um, it was major mechanic work. So guess what today, guys? Truck is breaking down today, right now as we speak, right now while I'm doing this video. I'm in um, Shreveport, Louisiana. Take a look. Truck is doing the same thing. I, I have, I'm not, I don't have it crunk yet, but I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, um, break down again, again, today, I'm breaking down again today, um, I haven't called them yet, because I already know what they're going to tell me, sit right here, wait for a tow truck, <sighs> excuse me, wait for a tow truck, I was just in the rain, guys, it's um, raining over here, pouring out raining, but, um, yeah, uh, broke down again, man. Broke down again. I haven't called them yet. I know when I call them in the morning, it's going to be another headache. But if they don't switch me out this time, I'm just going to politely get a rental car, um, pack up my things. Because at this point, I probably need a lawyer because this is a lemon. They have a lemon law. This is a, a lemon. This is a real lemon. Um, it's no better way to put it. Uh, 2022 Freightliner Cascadia. It's a lemon. 
I'm sorry to say it. I love I love the truck and I love how I drive and everything when it's fixed. But um being broke down is not fun like at all. Like if you live somewhere like I live in Miami. So being broke down in these places where it's you know you're far away from any and everything is nothing around you or the only thing around you is where like right now where i'm at warehouse 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 plant so it's nothing around me so at this point tow truck come get me i'm guaranteed to go at least a hundred something miles or better for a tow so before i even get to you know somewhere i can you know be like okay I can I can you know deal with over here so it's not it's not fun it's not fun at all so with that being said that's my experience with tail and um it's not so good it's like I said I have a lot of patience I still haven't you know yelled at nobody I haven't cussed nobody out um oh I mistakenly forgot their tell that tell will tell you to keep all your receipts for anything you pay for it's been about a month. I haven't got paid for anything back yet. So nothing being nothing has been reimbursed. Nothing has hit my account. But those truck payments getting take out. So do your homework, do your research, check them out, ask questions for situations like this. They they're they're telling me that my situation is very rare. But I'm hearing the same issue with a couple other drivers. So I don't know if they made a video or not. But if you see it, this is what Tell's doing to me. That I can speak for myself. But um, I I I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm being broke down right now as we speak. So like I said, do your research, do your homework. Um, this is Tell. I, I, I wish I would have said, you know, good things about them, but this is what I'm going through right now. It's not like I've been through it a long time ago and they made up, they accommodated me on something or they fixed this and fixed that. Nah, that is, that's not even the case. They're not, they're not doing enough, put it like that. Because when they're sitting cozed up in their beds, they're rolling over to their families and this and that. Guess where I'm at? Broke down on the side of the road. Nobody's answering Sometimes you can't even get to the breakdown part overnight. It sends you to a whole different company. I don't even know of. That's the company that, that, that I think when I say the third time I broke down, I sat on the side of the road for almost 20 hours. Cause that company, the two companies, they so-called called, never came out there. Then I called in the morning. They said, uh, called the next day and they was like hey nobody called nothing so she lied to me and said she called them but she never called nobody because there was no report no nothing oh another thing about tell all the things i've been complaining about all the times i've been in the shop all the times that um they said they was going to take this off and you know take off these payments and stuff like that my last time i was broke down lucky thing i checked my account and they took out four payments at one time off my account so I was in a negative for um, $3,800. I bust my behind that week, climbed my, off one check, I was able to get out of that hole from $3,800 and have a decent check. And I didn't know that they charged me um, for payments. They said they was gonna take off. Man, they said they was gonna take it off. So look, I called them, guess what they told me? Oh, there's nothing we can do about that but take off your next payment. So my big check I thought I was gonna get, I didn't get it because of them. Didn't get it. So, like I said, do, my, do your homework. If this video helped you out by any means, um, I'm sorry that it was long. It's more that I got to say, but you know, I, I'm just gonna cut it right there because I see the video is getting kind of long. But just know I'm frustrated up to here with with tell i'm i'm frustrated they're not doing enough so i'm going to do another video and let you know what they said about what's going on right now like why it broke down right now if they switch me out if they switch me out i'll be happy but if not i'm going to politely pack my things 
put them in um, storage or something and I'm going somewhere else. I'm not, you're not gonna sit here and force me to stay in this truck. I'm, you're not gonna do that. That's, that's crazy. But if you have a lawyer or know a lawyer, if the situation gets worse, please put it in the comment box. Um, or you can get at me at um, on, on Instagram. It's uh, underscore, no, sorry. It is trucker underscore smooth underscore. Thank you. But don't forget to like this video, share it if you want to. Um, watch it with your family, watch it with your buddies who's thinking about going to tell. Um, other than that, tell has a long, long, long waiting list. So that's another reason don't go to them. They're so long because they're dishing out these brand new trucks so fast that they can't keep up with them. So, like I said, like, comment, share, um, hit the uh, subscribe button, and um, I'm out. Thank you. Well, guys, finally made it to the dealer. Uh, I'm about to go in and see what they tell me. Um, keep you guys posted.